Oh, wow. Hey guys. Oh, hey, sorry. I'm just looking into the future here. Hey, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the future of the restoration industry. And man, you are not gonna believe what is coming down the pike. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what do you see in the future? How is it gonna affect you growing your restoration company? And more specifically, what is it gonna do to the big three in terms of the way that we get jobs? We're gonna talk about it all today. Let's go. All right, guys, so um, as we get started here, um, do me a favor, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and uh, share this video on social media and tag me. Go to Facebook, drop it in a group, and just say, hey, at Shane O'Dasher. And if you're not friends with me on Facebook, hit me with a friend request too, okay? So uh, anyway, let's talk about the future of the restoration industry. In case you don't already know, a lot has changed in the past couple of years. And the reason why things have changed recently um, is because the pandemic was here, COVID was here. Well, guess what? A lot of the technology that is about to disrupt and change the restoration industry has already been here at mass market scale. It just wasn't introduced and forced into our industry just yet. Well, all of that is really about to change. Let's take a look at some of the other industries real quick about how have they been affected by technology, et cetera, and, and what can we take from that? So what are the other industries that have been affected? Well, taxis. Uber has completely decimated the taxi industry. Until now, the only way that you could get something delivered was with a pizza. Well, until DoorDash, right? Airbnb is changing how you go about where you stay, right? Like, are you gonna stay at a hotel? Like, that used to be the only option for you. Now, a lot of people stay at Airbnb. So there's like an entire sector that's popped up, these short-term rentals, and it is, it is completely affecting and altering um, the market share for the hotel industry. Um, if you look at just marketing agencies, et cetera, SEO, search engine optimization, used to be all the rage. Backlinking back to your website, well, that got disrupted and altered with AdWords, okay? Um, and we'll tell you about why these things happen a little bit later. Previously, Walmart was the biggest behemoth in the, in the room, right? Well, guess what? Now it's Amazon. And guess who is starting to get into the physical retail space? Amazon. And you know what's ironic is, guess who uh, Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, guess who his uh, mentor was or who he idolized? Sam Walton. Hmm, interesting. There's a lot to unpack there, but um, the things like the phone book, right? And the yellow pages. Where do you go now when you need to contact somebody? You don't even go to that. That whole industry's gone. You go to the internet, you Google it, right? And real estate agents, they're getting disrupted now as information is being proliferated, right, through Zillow and, and sites like that, where um, used to you would have to go through an insurance agent to get some of this information, or at least you could get some of the, the county tax records, but it was very complicated and cumbersome, right? And a lot of the information was held under the vest. Well, real estate agents are about to have an undoing very similar to what the travel agency did, right? So now that you've got Expedia and these other different companies that help you with booking your travels and your vacations, entire industries are getting shaken down to their core. That's the biggest point that I want you to know, right? As we take a look at that. So what does that got to do with restoration? Well, I think it's important that we also go back and let's take a look at what has worked before. The things that have worked well, these are gonna be things that worked in the 90s and in the 2000s, maybe up into about 2015, okay? What we're looking at here, this is the, the route marketing. This is what I call mustache marketing, right? So a lot of the guys that are in the restoration industry now, they're the old white hairs. And granted, I, I don't have a whole lot of room to talk, but I've got a little gray and a lot of black left. The guys that have all gray, they're still wearing mustaches. And the mustache marketing is gonna tell you everything that worked in the 90s and the 2000s, but I'm telling you guys, it's a different ball game now. So what was working with mustache marketing? Your general route marketing, right? What is that? So if you wanna pick up work from insurance agents, you would be able to literally go hire some girl or some young guy, and you just go see the agents over and over again. You taking some jelly beans and some donuts, you completely interrupt their day. And ironically enough, they enjoyed that and they'd send you work. Like literally today at my studio, I had a guy just come walking in my office. So I keep my doors locked, okay? And nobody likes to be interrupted, but this ironically worked in the 90s and in the 2000s. You could literally pay somebody just to go see agents. And the old top of mind was all you would need to do in order to, to get jobs. Well, that doesn't work anymore, but it did for a long, long time. Let's take a look at plumbers. What was working for a long time with plumbers? Well, you could just put together a blanket referral fee you know, pay them 100, 200, 300 bucks, and then maybe offer a free dry out or some type of reciprocating program. And that was all you needed to get work from plumbers. 
but things have changed, guys. The things that, like right now, you've got referral fees that are skyrocketing, you can't get in front of the plumbers, uh, the free drying isn't enough. Like, once the word gets out on all this stuff, it doesn't work the way that it used to, okay? Route marketing's gone, plumber marketing has completely evolved and changed. And let's look at the internet. Well, first of all, the internet wasn't here in the 90s, so we can take a look at it in the 2000s, right? SEO was all the rage, okay? If anybody was doing AdWords, it was like virtually free, <laughs> or it cost you very, very little. For us, when I started my company, there was like the gold rush. It was like the internet was uncharted territories. Like nobody knew anything about it. It was amazing, <laughs> okay? But then that stuff broke, okay? SEO backlinks, doesn't even work anymore. Why? Google now puts the map section on top of the search results of the search engine optimization stuff. And then they stack Google AdWords on top of that. And now they got Google guaranteed on top of the AdWords. So literally it went from SEO to AdWords to now they're putting Google guaranteed on top of that. And you got other companies like 33 mile radius and pay per call industries that are now selling direct phone calls from customers right to your company, right? So for three, four, five, six hundred dollars, you can pay for a live phone call, okay? And all these are, these are direct response marketing agencies that know how to get clicks and they're driving the stuff to the restoration companies. Same thing, we go back. And even more recently, guys, and this is just to give you, an, you may have seen Facebook ads from me in the past few years. Well, you're not seeing those ads now, why? Because you've heard about iOS 14, potentially you have, maybe you haven't. But if you go to your phone now, and you'll see a lot of times on your iPhone, it'll say, do you want this app to track you? Allow once or only while using? This is a new update that Apple pushed out, okay? And what does this mean? Uh, companies that were using Facebook because they could effectively target you. Now they can't because now you have to literally say, yes, it's okay to leave my app tracking on. And that's a whole different can of worms, guys. But all I'm telling you is this, if you say no to that, it doesn't mean you don't see ads on Facebook. It just means you're more likely to see ads for something you don't want. So instead of looking at hunting and fishing stuff, now you're gonna get ads for tampons, okay? Because they can't tell you from your wife. But here's the point that I want you to know. Things that used to work, aren't working anymore, okay? So this is an example of the things that, that were working. So let's take a look at today's environment, okay? Insurance agents, they're working remote, or just like I told you, they've got the door locked. Why? Because over the past year, two years, guys, since COVID, if you couldn't figure out how to run a remote company or a skeleton crew, you're already out of business, okay? PPP is gone, both rounds. And so the companies that made it, made it. And well, there's probably about a third of them that are still floundering that are going out right now. But I mean, in another 12 months, they're all going to be done. They're all going to be gone. They will have maxed out their lines of credit and the mustaches are dead. Okay, that's it. And so agents, remote, skeleton crews can't get in front of them. Route marketing, not going to work. Okay, it was stupid to begin with, to be honest with you. Plumbers. It's hard to get inside to even talk to the plumbers, okay? Maybe you do get in front of them, maybe you don't. But just know this, referral fees are skyrocketing, everybody's offering free dry outs, and if you're working with a plumber that only wants money, then it's going to the highest bidder, guys. It's getting more and more difficult to get work from agents for these reasons. It's getting more and more difficult to get work from plumbers for these reasons. Let's take a look at internet marketing. I just got done telling you that the guys that have been in business, the mustaches for the past 20 and 30 years, They've got a lot of cash, guys. So what do they do? When they can't get in front of agents and they can't get in front of plumbers, you know what they do? They'll go hire a local marketing agency and pay through the nose for these Google AdWords. And suddenly, if you've got two idiots that are in your market willing to pay $400 for a freaking click, your ads used to work and now they don't work because you got this bozo mustache over here that's trying to freaking make it in his business, but they're not gonna make it work either, okay? They're just setting their money on fire. And if you try and pay the highest click game, you're gonna get set on fire with them. So you can't play with an idiot with money on the internet because I'm not gonna say they're gonna win. It's just like the drunk guy at the blackjack table. If this dude is still taking a hit with a four card, a bus card showing, like you better just let that dude lose all his money and go sit down when he's done, okay? And we already touched on the iOS 14 where they block all of your tracking. Here's what I want you to know, guys. The things that used to work don't work. We told you what did work. Now I'm telling you what our, today's environment is. So what does this mean? Well, as you look at the today's environment, I just want you to know this things have changed and they're not gonna go back. 
So now that we know that there's going to be skeleton crews and you're going to be, it's going to be hard to get in front of agents and the plumber referral fees are skyrocketing and the internet is a moving target, what are you going to do? Well, let's take a look at the future of the big three. So first and foremost, let's talk about agents. Agents have already learned how to continue to operate their business, to some degree anyway, by selling their policies with Facebook ads or being online, right? But if we just carry this on out another five or 10 years from now, what are you gonna see? How, what is this gonna look like? Well, policies are all gonna be sold online. There's not gonna be that, like when you want an insurance policy now, you don't like drive down to your local office and go interview them. You do a Zoom call, you do a phone call, right? That is gonna to continue to change. It's not gonna be long for you to start putting these things on. As a matter of fact, with my coaching clients, and if you guys wanna know more about me helping you in your business, you can go to workwithshane.com, fill out an application, and uh, we can hop on the phone and talk. But I'm literally fixing to start sending these out to our clients, okay? So we can get into a room, a virtual room, because that's what this is, synergy and collaboration. So the insurance agents are gonna be selling their policies online, there won't be insurance agents in another 10 years, okay? There'll be a much smaller market share than what they are now, and in 15 and 20 years, completely gone. Policies all sold online, insurance agents out the door. The claims will all be pushed and managed through your TPA services. They've already started that. You guys already know that. That's only gonna continue to become worse, okay? So that's what we can look at for insurance agents, right? So let's take a look at the internet. Internet marketing agencies are gonna be the only ones in this space. Google's always gonna be up and down. Facebook ads are always gonna be up and down. You literally have to be a YouTube ads expert, a Google ads expert, and or a Facebook ads expert to compete with this stuff. And I've got news for you. The guys that do marketing agencies, if they don't focus on restoration, or just because they do, that doesn't even mean they do a good job. Because it they have to continually commit to learning because it's always a moving target. Why? Because Google will always change what they do. We've already talked about SEO, then Maps, right? And like everybody wanted SEO and then they wanted Google Maps and because Maps, you can put your reviews. Well, guess what? Now you can buy an ad on the Google Maps and then they've got AdWords and these things only matter because guess what they put on top of AdWords now? Google Guaranteed. And Google Guaranteed is pretty cheap right now. You can get a call for like 50 bucks or something like that, 70 bucks, but know this. That's only for a period of time. And the only reason why they do that because they know that we are not smart enough to run our freaking ads and run a very good job. So they try to reduce the cost to get your phone call from you know, a marketing agency, right? Marketing agencies, these are e-commerce brands. A lot of people, those are the ones using AdWords for the most part. Guys like us in the restoration industry or the plumbers or uh, electricians, anything in your local services, Right? That's why they came out with local service ads, because they know that the cavemen like us are not smart enough to figure that out. Okay, And so what they're trying to do is make it as simple as possible for us to do business on there. But I got news for you, bro. The minute that everybody gets on it and it becomes very effective, do you think it's gonna stay to be 60, 70, 80 bucks a click? Nope. No, they're not your friend. It's always gonna be moving target, okay? So here's what I want you to know. Whoever can pay the most for the leads will always win. And I got news for you. I think Tim Gill and those dudes at 33 know how to do it better than you, and they will always know how to do it better than you. And if you can pay them 400 bucks for a phone call, why are you trying to master AdWords? Like literally. I just want you to know this. The internet will always be a moving target. Insurance agents are on the decline. They're gonna go away. So, this brings me to plumbers. So what do you think about plumbers in the future, right? Well, I can tell you this, where there's a building, there's water. Where there's water, there will be a leak. Leaks draw plumbers. Plumbers will take you to the leak. If there's a building and there's a pipe and there can be a leak and there might be a mortgage, there has to be insurance, guys. As you fast forward, the big three that we currently get, in, get jobs from, the internet, insurance agents, and plumbers, only one of those are going to last in the end, and it's going to be the plumbers. And I only say that to you because you are not going to be able to chase down. Um, you're not going to be able to chase down the internet and the property managers. If they're in your big three, you're already wrong. Okay, not for water damage. And property managers really make terrible referral partners. They're not. They will burn your butt at the stake. Okay. If you don't believe me, just keep doing that work. All right. You deal with a lot of renters. You're gonna get Jerry Springer watchers, a bunch of daggum Alabama fans. They will roast you, dude. Don't mess with it, okay? Let's back this on back out, right? So in the future, in 10 or 15 years now, my, my bold prediction is really gonna be this. Um, insurance agents are gonna go away. 
There will always be some insurance agents out there. There's just gonna be some people that just will pay way more money to go through an agent and that's fine, but that's gonna be a continually shrieking market share, okay? And then the internet, I'm just telling you, it's gonna be a moving target. If you are in restoration right now, you've only got two choices. You gotta focus on water, or you gotta focus on fire, okay? Those are your two options. And then you either have to decide are you gonna be on a TPA or not on a TPA? Because if you're gonna be a retail guy, you have to have an entirely different set of skills than if you're gonna be a TPA guy, okay? And so if you can get work from the end user as a retail contractor, that's gonna be the way to go because you can make twice as much money, but you gotta be able to get the jobs in the door. Does that make sense? So here's what I'm gonna tell you. You need to focus on relationships and that's where we go back to plumbers, guys. In the next handful of years, the only way and the best way to get these jobs, you whoever right now, focuses on how are we gonna get jobs in three years from now, five years from now? Like that's the question you need to be asking in your business today. If you guys wanna know more about how to get this done, then go to workwithshane.com. You can fill out your information and then we can talk. But I've got news for you guys. This thing right here, it's a real thing and it's not gonna go away, okay? It's not gonna go away. Do me a favor, click the like button if you haven't already. Tag, the, tag me on social media with this thing and we'll catch you on the next video.